in a circle. Just like you know how a segment um, or a line, those are just a bunch of points put together. But you, all you see is the line. It's like you make a stick. What up? Hey, I'm promising not the dark. That light's just super terrible. That's why we got this little fella. I'm not being creepy. But we're going to learn some math. Okay, so today we're going to look at circumference and area. Right, so check out my other videos if you didn't get a chance to look at the warm up for diameter, radius, and all that junk. So let's learn about circumference and area, shall we? Okay, so circumference. That's the distance all the way around a circle. Okay, so you got your circle. Your circumference is this part right here. It's the distance all the way around it. Okay, so um, if we ever want to find the circumference of a circle, what we do is we have two formulas. You've got circumference equals pi times diameter or circumference equals 2 pi r. Okay, you're thinking to yourself, why does that work? Well, because D for diameter goes all the way across to R would be two times the radius. Radius, which is half of the diameter. So essentially all you're doing is you've got two options. You can either do diameter or you can have it to where you're doing the radius, doubling it to get the diameter, and then still multiplying it times pi. Okay? So if you remember this one, you'll always be good and know that one. Okay, so for instance, let's do some examples real quick. Say you've got the a circle and the radius is five. Okay, well, I know that my circumference is pi times the diameter. Now, I don't have the diameter, I've got the radius. But I know my diameter is always two times the radius. So I could just say two times five is 10. So now it's pi times 10, which we usually like to write it like this. 10 pi. So your circumference equals 10 pi. Okay? Yeah, not bad. Um, let's say we start with the diameter. Say the diameter is, I don't know, 100. Okay? Well, we've already got our diameter. We can use the same formula. Circumference equals pi times diameter. And then we would just do pi times 100. And you're done. Right at 100 pi. Now, sometimes they'll want you to work it out. Usually they'll say pi is... Um, Use it where pi is equal to 3.14. And you just multiply 100 times 3.14. Okay, which would be, yep, 314. And you're done. That's the circumference. You just learned it. Okay. Hello, thank you for coming to Tarver Academy. Please subscribe, maybe 